welcome back to Sorry. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Josh and this is Josh Harris Vlogs. If you're into guitars, hiking, woodwork, beards, occasional bike rides, food coming out of my mouth, you should consider subscribing. Last time on the vlog, we made this. I'm calling this the condor. This is a set neck guitar that I am building from the Fretwire slab kit. Uh, I, I designed this out, I cut it, I sanded it, I made a little nice little tummy tuck and a shoulder rest or elbow rest, arm rest, something like that. This time we're going to be prepping it. We're going to get it ready to make sure everything's going to work the way I want. I've got a couple little uh, add-ons that I picked up that I want to do to it. I, I, I've, I've got a big idea for, if you, if you look at it, you can tell it's gonna have a very large pig guard. That's my goal. The only pig guard I could find that wasn't hideous was this hideous one. I absolutely love this. This is like a, what's going on outside? I got that for the pig guard. I picked up a roller bridge. This is a bridge with rollers on it because I also picked up a Bigsby. It's not a real Bigsby. I'm not made of money. This is a uh, very cheap knockoff Bigsby off Amazon. Links down below. I do have to get the uh, input put into the side. Uh, the selector switch is gonna go up here on the top. I've gotta get all that prepped up. And maybe by the end of this video, we can at least hear some tones from this. And then after that, we'll be finishing it. First steps first, I wanna get the pit guard going. To do that, I'm trying to use, this is parchment paper, cause I don't have any tracing paper. I might be able, oh yeah, that's gonna work perfect. <laughs> guard on Whew. and the pickups in place this was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be but I figured it out somehow I went in and put the roller bridge on temporarily uh, and then I've got to get something to fill in these holes because I'm going to get rid of the stock tailpiece which is just a, a, a stop and put the Bigsby on which will go probably right in there. Next thing I'll do is put my tone and volume knob in and then figure out routing for the switch. Probably right there. <laughs> Quick little, quick little update for you. Uh, I have got the pit guard ready. I got the selector switch in the right place. I've got to get a wire from here to, I want to go through here to there. As I was attempting to drill the hole, I realized that it is going to be nearly impossible to wire this guitar. If you look at a Strat, they have a big pit guard, not this big, but they have a big pit guard and then it's empty all this is empty this one is is uh is set up like a uh a gibson to where you have a little pit guard you pop your holes right through you got small amounts of running that inside uh in internal routing and then your back is where you do all that stuff so what i need to do is channel on the front 
a route from here to here and then I think I'm going to do one from here to here. Once I get it there, it shouldn't be too hard to poke the wires through and just pull them right out. The thing nobody tells you when you're getting into a hobby like this, you got to buy a buttload of tools. It's expensive. Earlier, you, you, I don't know if I put it in the video, you probably saw I used this. This is a plunge router. It's made to where, you know, you plunge. It, it, it plunges. That's why I call it a plunge router. Unfortunately, that is the wrong tool. So I had to go pick up this one. Luckily, it's, it's close to Black Friday and I was able to get a really good deal. This is like $130, $140 hand router. I got it for 80 bucks. Hopefully it works. It's brand new. It should. So I will simply just do a quick little route in the top, go from there. I just finished routing the two channels. They're actually incredibly straight. I'm pretty dang happy. This thing, the hand router, this is the Bosch. I'll put a link down below if you would like to get one for yourself. Yes. Next thing I need to do is fill in these holes here so I can put in the Bigsby. The way I'm going to do that, I actually got this idea off of uh, Guns and Guitars. He did the same kind of thing where he got rid of the stop tailpiece. I picked up some half inch wooden dowels. They fit perfectly in there. A little bit of glue, let that set for a while, and I'll be good to go. So I just gotta put those in, glue it, and then I can install the Bigsby. And I think I can wire this thing up and test it out. And we're done. Well, not done, but you know, with this video. <laughs> carried away I stopped filming and I only worked <laughs> I have a rough a rough version this is it this is the condor in its roughness and beauty with the fake Bigsby and the whole list gotta fix the look that it has is Definitely what I was going for, what I wanted. I, I absolutely love just this. Here's what I've noticed. I haven't even plugged it in yet. I don't know if my soldering job worked. I've never done a, a soldering two humbucker to a single switch and then one volume, one knob. I've never done anything like that. Uh, I do know already I'm going to have to do a fret job. The fret job done on it is terrible. It's... So I'm going to have to do a fret job for sure. Uh, I'm going to... The strings that I currently have on it are terrible. They're the ones that came with the kit. I'm really happy. I've got an idea of how I can make a bone nut for this. And I'm going to probably try and find some gold foil pickups. But enough with, with my yammering. My yammering and my jammering. That's what my mom called me and my sister because she forgot her name. I need to go plug it up. Let's see if it works.